Hey, what's going on, y'all? True Hollywood story. Um, I may catch shit for this one, but whatever. So, I don't remember the year, but I know that we still had, um, we still had Whitney, but we lost Michael. I remember that. And I don't remember the award show, but uh, I was there. <clears throat> I remember, you know, during award shows, there's a commercial break where people talk amongst themselves and people are uh, shuffling in and during the commercial, they hurry up, they, they rushed and they got me to my seat and I realized that uh, they put me, as I'm sitting down, I turned behind me and there was Joe Jackson, father of the Musgretchen Jackson 5, sitting right behind me and I thought, this is, this is pretty cool sitting right in front of Michael Jackson's daddy. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm sitting there and, and we, we come back from commercial break and the award show is starting and uh, everybody's watching the award show and all of a sudden I can feel the heat of somebody who was right on my neck. Right on my neck. And, um, and this is exactly what I heard. <laughs> I remember the, I, the first thing I thought. The first thing I thought. First, I can tell it was Joe Jackson, just by the voice. And like I said, he was sitting behind me. But the first thing I thought was, it's pronounced Halle. <laughs> and then the next thing I thought was, what the actual F is happening right now? And I, I didn't know, I, I couldn't tell, obviously, because I don't know Joe Jackson. I'm like, is that, does he think he's being witty? Is he trying to introduce himself to me? Like, is that the icebreaker? Is it, uh, is he... Is he bonding with me on some suspected <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> villain type shit? Um, I didn't know. So what I opted to do in that moment was to turn around and kind of nervously <laughs> and uncomfortably like <laughs> acknowledge him and just be like, yeah, that's, that's her name, almost. And, and then... I thought, okay, now that I acknowledged it, maybe we can get on with the enjoying the evening. And two minutes later, I swear, two minutes later, I feel that heat on my back of my neck again. I smell that old man cologne, Fabergé, or Old Spice or something, in the exact same way. <laughs> so now I realize, okay, he's testing you. He's testing you. He's like, is, is, is Eric Benet a punk? Can I do this to him all night and he won't do nothing? And, and then I realized, okay, I got to do something. I'm, I'm like, I, am I about to get into an altercation with the man who whooped little Michael Jackson's ass? Is that what's about to happen right here on this award show? And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I turn around and as respectfully as I could, I said, sir, could you please not do that anymore? And he said, <laughs> I was just playing with you. I, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> and then for the rest of the night, he didn't say anything. And I enjoyed the award show. And I remember thinking, I'm going to tell people this, and they're not going to believe it. They're not going to believe it. Um, and I don't really think I shared this story a lot. so. I don't know. There you go. It actually happened. All right.